Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Jambo Dumelang to all people around the world My name is Harry Zainal And I'm your ITV host from Malaysia And a welcome to Malaysia ITV is broadcast from Mihas Malaysia International Halal Showcase And World Halal Conference The number one platform for halal industry for product and services all right right now right here we are standing in front of the main entrance is 16th edition for mihas 2019 and the mihas will take place from 3rd until 5th april 2019 alhamdulillah all praise be to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all his mercy and blessings we are able to gather here in this auspicious opening ceremony for Global Halal Summit 2019, Jihaz 2019. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to be here today with all of you. On behalf of the government of Malaysia, I would like to take this occasion to extend my, my warm welcome to all. Ladies and gentlemen, Islam is a systematic way of life and every teaching divulged by the religion comes with comprehensive standards and guidelines to be adhered to by all Muslims. One of these standards is the concept of halal which relates to the meaning of lawful. It comes together with the concept of haram which means the prohibited. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has clearly mentioned this. In al halal bayinun wa in al haram bayinun wa baynahuma umurun mutashabihat la ya'lamuhunna kathirun min al nas. Matters pertaining to halal and haram are parts of al maqasid al sharia in understanding the objectives of the, the objectives of the sharia to preserve the core necessities or daruriyat to preserve the religion to preserve the life property linkage and also intellectual the growth of the halal industry was primarily driven by the demand of halal food globally and has evolved throughout the whole supply chain, extending to cosmetics, consumer goods, pharmaceuticals, logistic and industries. According to the State of the Global Islamic Economy Report 2018-2019, 1.8 billion Muslims globally has spent an estimated of US 2.1 trillion in 2017 across the lifestyle sectors. Hence, this prestigious event is a great platform to effectively contribute towards the development of a single unified global halal standard and to facilitate the strengthening of a global halal economy for the greater interest of all Muslims worldwide. Introduced this year, the Global Halal Summit 2019 is a rebrand of the World Halal Week, which was known previously. An annual gathering of the industry brightest minds and passionate halal professionals which has started since 2004 with world's first halal only international trade show by the malaysian international halal showcase or mihas i believe all the delegates have benefited from the facilitated discussions knowledge sharing session networking activities and opportunities 
to further contribute and enhance the halal industry. The theme halal connecting the world is undoubtedly rele relevant in Malaysia's strongest and most consistent push towards becoming a global halal hub. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the global halal market has now expanded beyond the food sector to include pharmaceutical, cosmetic, health products, toiletries, and medical devices, travel, tourism, fashion, as well as service sector components such as logistics, marketing, print and electronic media, packaging, branding, and even financing, an estimated worth of US $2.1 trillion. In relation to this, we must not forget, halal has its own concept. The concept of tayyib, or halal and tayyibah, which reflects to the meaning of wholesomeness, fruitfulness, and also contributive. All this understanding of halal and tayyibah blends perfectly with the other growing trend, such as organic food, non-cruelty to animals, and sustainable development. Halal cannot be isolated from the sustainable development goals. Halal cannot be isolated from the bigger ecosystem of giving back to the society. Ladies and gentlemen, the rapid change of technology pressures the halal industry to be at a fast pace. We cannot be seen as left behind. So today, we are entering into the fourth industrial revolution. This fusion of technologies is said to be capable of creating new possibilities that can blur the lines between the physical, digital, and biological world. Convergence of various disciplines putting into the platform of technology. I believe that the halal industry should explore and take advantage of this revolution in sub-sectors of internet of all things, the blockchain, nanotechnology, <coughs> industrial big data analytic, and mobile technology. These are all technologies that we should take opportunity in order to bring halal to the world. Mobile phone application specific for halal are in fact quite common today. From helping travelers find halal eateries, mosques and the qibla, such as mimbar, to the data crossing checking functionalities in Jakim's halal certificate, validation and verification, such as application of halal verified engine and verify halal. All these are in place. Halal authorities and certification bodies can also issue halal certificates using blockchain technology, which would have not just, which would have not just the halal certificate itself, but also all production and distribution records by halal producers. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> in particular of our gathering this year, and with all the guests from all over the world, I'm also pleased to note 
that there has been an increase in the number of participating companies and countries for this year's event. With the total of more than 40 countries involved, Alhamdulillah. This clearly, this clearly is an indication that Halal has gained a lot of momentum. In addition to that, with all the tremendous and encouraging trends in Halal industry, as well as positive collaborations and networking among the government agencies and international halal players that have supported the Islamic economic growth, I would like for this prestigious event to be continued and be the annual national event starting from this year. <clears throat> This event has proven to be perfect platform for the leaders, experts, authorities, and industrial players to share their notions and ideas, to share thoughts on policies and discoveries within the halal industry. Let us therefore continue to maintain this momentum for the betterment of the halal industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I have come to the end of my speech. Allow me to place on record my appreciation and utmost gratitude to all agencies involved in making this Global Halal Summit 2019 a great success. This includes not just the Department <coughs> of Islamic Development, JAKIM, which reports to the Prime Minister's office under the Islamic Administration Affair, but also the Ministry of International Trade. Thank you very much. The Ministry of Economic Affairs. Thank you very much. Madrid and HDC. And my gracious appreciation, most of all, to all our international delegates of the Global Halal Summit 2019 Event. Thank you for your contribution in ensuring success to this event. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Alright, please, please, please don't go anywhere because we'll be right back after this. Alright, welcome back. Still with me here, Zainal, and thank you for still watching us because right now, after this, I'm gonna give you a very, a very good information for you. Only on Mihas 2019. Alright, so right now we have Mr. Hyrule Arifin. Assalamualaikum. Alright, so Mr. Hyrule, can you tell us and share with us what actually World Halal Conference 2019? World Halal Conference is actually a world gathering. Yeah? of the great talks okay. of halal among the best people uh, involved in halal industry development all over the world. So this year, uh, we're having it in KL. Uh, so we are receiving uh, delegates from more than 150 countries all over the world. Yeah. All right. So you mean that we have a greatest panel here, greatest lineup to share with you all about business, especially halal industry. Yes. All right. So what is the main objective here? The objective here is to link uh, Malaysian halal ecosystem mm. to the ecosystem all over the world uh, and therefore it becomes an outcome that can generate trade investment and also uh, share of thoughts and also technology all right so for those who are getting more information please do come over here let's talk with us thank you so much mr Hiro Arifin. Okay. all right all right i'm so glad today because i meet the greatest person from mihas 2019 mr amin Amirul, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam, Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Alright, Mr. Amin Amirul, can you share with us the difference, maybe the difference between Mihas 2018 and Mihas 2019? Okay, uh, basically, uh, thank you to ITV uh, for coming to Malaysia and doing this uh, coverage for Mihas. But basically, this year will be a little bit different because we have uh, another new cluster whereby we have a uh, modest fashion in a cluster. 
So it is a little bit different compared to 2018 because 2018 we have about uh, seven clusters. Now we have about uh, eight clusters in Mihas 2019. All right, so maybe you can have last word for them to join us today for people who stay nearby. Don't waste your time. Come here, visit us today. Okay, uh, for all the trade uh, visitors all over there, just come to Mihas 2019. And of course, Mihas is part of uh, the Global Halal Summit 2019. So do come to Mihas 2019. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day. Good thank luck. You. All right. All right, thank you so much for staying with us to get more information about Mihas and World Halal Conference and right now, right here, we with Mr. Maulana Navlaki from South African National Halal Authority. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alright, sir, can you uh, tell us more and what is your organization is all about? The South African National Halal Authority is uh, a halal regulatory body which does halal certification and monitoring in South Africa like you have Jakim that does halal certification in Malaysia. All right. So, what is your main objective and your purpose to come to Malaysia? Uh, we've come to attend the Global Halal Summit that has been uh, initiated by Malaysia this year. And our main core uh, objective of coming here is to network, cooperate and support uh, the initiative of Malaysia in strengthening, promoting and preserving and connecting the Muslim world, uh, or the entire world rather, to the concept of halal. All right, thank you. And uh, what about the? Okay, yeah, you, you said just now that you're helping us, and not 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 only South African and also Malaysia to helping us to more promoting our product, not only Malaysia and all around the world. And how many halal certification that Jakim certified? Uh, we are one of the halal certification bodies that are recognized by Jakim, mm -hmm. but Jakim has about seventy-eight recognized certification bodies all over the world. So amongst uh, the, uh, from 45 different countries, uh, we are one of them, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And what can you tell me the uniqueness about Halal Brand Value? The uniqueness about Halal Brand Value, you know, it's not just the brand value of Halal in itself. Whilst there is a monetary aspect attached to it, to the value of the Halal Brand, uh, we must understand that as Muslims, uh, Halal is a lifestyle choice. We live Halal. Every aspect of our life is compliant to halal protocols and halal principles. And uh, uh, we should utilize this vehicle to improve our life and thereby improving the community, the environment and the broader Muslim society. Whereby if they come into contact with a halal lifestyle, we will get people understanding Islam better, coming closer to our ideals and the way shown to us by Islam and by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam That means is halal is not only about the product or the food but our lifestyle itself Alright, thank you so much We are looking forward to working with you for the things halal thing we has Thank you so much brother Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah Alright guys, I'm so glad to be here because uh, beside me we have a Mr. Abdul Wahab from National Independent Halal Trust of South Africa. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alright, I just want to share with you a fun fact. Uh, Mr. Abdul Wahab be here in Kuala Lumpur with Mihas in this time is a 16th edition. Which means he with us for the first edition until now. Yes, uh, basically I was here at the first exhibition that took place in 2004 and uh, we've been coming to Malaysia for every year while Mihas was on. And in conjunction, obviously, with uh, the Jakim uh, conferences that have been taking place. Yeah, that must be great. And then, can you share with us a, a bit about the, the, the changes? Yeah, it must be grow bigger now, from the first edition until now. Well, there's a lot more professionalism in the entire arrangement of uh, whatever has been taking place over the years. And, um, you know, in terms of the government, I'm talking about Ma Trade, their efforts in promoting uh, halal trade across the globe and promoting Malaysian products to the world, um, they've been instrumental, they've been working hard. And uh, the initiatives that have been uh, uh, passed on uh, from a government side to, to companies that want to exhibit is clear for all to see. And uh, I think it pays dividends and a lot of trade, uh, you know, comes about out of these type of exhibitions. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Mihas itself is Malaysia International Halal Showcase. So we are promoting a halal product. Can you, um, maybe you can tell me and uh, our audience out there, 
halal brand new. Maybe you can, maybe you have some other words to share with us. Halal branding. I think halal branding is quite important in markets where there is a majority Muslim population as well as in markets where the Muslims might be in minority so that food can be identified as halal and uh, safe to consume for the Muslim consumer and the Muslim public. Over and above that, we also need to consider that there are many non-Muslims that also consume halal because of the purity of uh, halal and, you know, being wholesome and you know they would look for halal food yeah. Yeah. and then uh, in the Malaysia also we are not uh, focusing on halal foods also we are focusing on all the process pharmaceutical and the tourism itself and right now Malaysia today is leading in a halal hub industry so you have word on that well definitely I think halal is all encompassing it encompasses the entire life of a Muslim so whether it be Islamic finance whether it be uh, uh, you know vacations or whatever the case may be to have halal alternatives and have halal venues is important. Uh, as an example, to have a hotel that doesn't uh, sell uh, any alcohol or there's no gambling or you have, uh, you know, spas where you, it, it is halal compliant. All these things are important and it is a market and a venue for Muslims. We have a very young CEO uh, standing beside me. All right. So maybe you can uh, say a word or maybe you have uh, something to share with them what actually they need to do if they are still at a young age if they want to be an entrepreneur okay firstly uh actually uh i'm a 28 year old so my vision is i want to follow better than my father Patap. so i hope my product can go to global such as uh such as uh, to japan and indonesia Alright, even though Miha is organizing in Malaysia, but in here, we bring to you a lot of company from all around the world. Not only in Malaysia, in Japan, in uh, Tokyo, in uh, Korea, and in Afghanistan, all the product is here. So it's up to you. If you want to get information, please do come over here. Okay, right now, I'm with Jun So. So Jun So will tell us about Halal Taiwan. What is Halal Taiwan actually, Jun So? Uh, Taiwan Halal Center is a uh, center which was uh, established uh, 2017 April and supported by our government to promote Taiwan certified halal products. And we promote products like uh, cosmetic, food, and anything related uh, uh, like uh, skincare, something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So, is it the first time you join Mihas or? No, we've been here for a uh, third time. Third time. So, uh, what do you think about Mihas? Uh, Miha is a great show, very professional. And we also attend uh, one of their meeting yesterday. And that was great. I think it's uh, great for uh, anyone who would like to promote uh, um, uh, Hala certified products and they can find the right person and right opportunity for them. All right. Thank you, Junsu. Thank you for staying with us because right now we're going to talk about olive oil. So we have Miss Fitri here. Hello, hi. Uh, hello. hello, hi. I'm Fitri from Olive House. All right. So Fitri will tell us advantage of olive oil itself, right? Yes. Basically, olive oil is very good for, uh, for the prevention of disease, especially for cholesterol and also for heart disease. And you see, uh, Diet Mediterranean very uh, recommend us to consume olive oil every day. And you see the percentage of people that are having uh, heart disease in uh, Mediterranean country is very low compared to us in Malaysia. Oh, yeah. So, uh, USDA organ also um, suggests us to consume two spoons of olive oil every day for the prevention of disease. Yes. So here we have Olive Plus 30X from Morocco, all the way from Morocco, 30 times more extra virgin, uh, uh, extra virgin olive oil, 30 times more antioxidants okay. from any other olive oil. So you should try. You should after try after this. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I will try after this. All right. Yes, so this try. is uh, the first time you join Mihas or your... No, this is our third time. Third time, third time in Mihas. So uh, we uh, now, uh, for this year, we have three booths. Compared okay. to uh, last time, last we have only two booths. Right. So um, please come to Mihas. <laughs> 
So, uh, okay, uh, what do you think about Mihas? Is it uh, helping you to globalize your product? Very, very much because here, this is the platform of we meeting the people, especially for business to business uh, platform. So, uh, it's the platform for us to expand our uh, business, especially for the international platform, international people, yes. All right, thank you so much. And we are from ITV Software. We wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.